Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So with having a blog and now a YouTube channel, people get to know a very specific side of you. It's very makeup focused, very superficial and stuff like that. So sometimes you don't get to talk about the other things that are involved in your life. So this is more of a get to know me video. And there are a list of questions because I think it was a tag, but I'm not treating it like a tag. I don't plan to tag anyone. This is just, here's who I am and I'm telling you about it. The first question is, what's your middle name? Now I'm gonna first start off by saying what my full name is because I go by a nickname, which people don't even know how to say when they see it. So my full name is Rochelle Laura Young. I go by Shell, which can be, I mean, Rochelle is hard enough for people to spell. There are cats fighting over there in a box. Stop fighting, guys! No! But I go by the nickname Shell, which can, <laughs> I've had people call me Chili. That's a fun one. Rochelle, Michelle, Rachel, which drives me crazy because that's not my name. So to answer the question, my middle name is Laura. The second question is, what was your favorite subject at school and I think this is a bit of a younger tag because some of these questions are a little bit focused on school stuff. I'm 33 years old so I haven't been to school in a very long time but back in the day my favorite uh, class was anything that had to do with art or creating stuff so we, I took a lot of art classes in school and uh, I think I took a graphic design course at one point so those were my favorite. Alright the third question is what is your favorite drink? And because it's a younger tag, I'm sure they're referring to non-alcoholic drinks, but hey, I'm answering the questions. My favorite alcoholic drink would be um, a Pinot Grigio, so a white wine, on the drier side of things. If we're talking about beer, Corona would be my favorite. Outside of that, then I think Nest Tea has been my favorite drink since I was a teen. That's obviously not alcoholic, but not the American version of Nest Tea. I'm talking about the Canadian version because the American version is blah, it's horrible. Not good at all. None of that cool Nest Tea shit either. Mm -mm. All right, the next question is what's your favorite song at the moment? And uh, a friend and I are planning to go to Warp Tour somewhere in the US this summer. So I've been trying to look up a lot of the bands that I don't know anymore. So I recently um, started listening to Falling in Reverse and their song Chemical Prisoner has just been kind of on replay for me in the last two or three days. So that's my current favorite. And if you're watching this and you know anything about the band, I don't know anything about them. I have no idea if they're considered cool or not cool or too pop or too pop. I have no friggin' idea. So <laughs> that's just what I've been listening to recently. Question number five is what is your favorite food? Uh, and that's a little bit of a struggle because I like a lot of food. But I think if we're gonna say favorite food that I could eat all the time, it would probably be either hummus or pico de gallo. Yeah, those are probably my favorite foods. Yeah, I could eat those at any point. Hands down favorite foods. The next question is what was the last thing that I bought? And Aside from like groceries and stuff like that, I think the last item that I purchased was the NYX Micro Brow in Taupe. Yeah, I think that's the last item. I've, I've really scaled back on spending a lot of money on items, so I'm, I, think, I think that's it. And that was several weeks ago. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> Alright, I pulled out props for the next question, because it says, what's your favorite book of all time? Uh, I'm never going to pick a single book because while I don't read nearly as much as I used to, I have a lot of books and there's a lot that I look back on fondly. The I have four of them so I'm just going to go through them quickly. The first one is Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I got this at a secondhand store for maybe 25 cents and I think it's actually, it might be a first edition which kind of threw me. I'm not even really sure why I picked it up. I think I grabbed it because I'd sort of heard of the name. But this is just, oh, I love this book so much. It's a thick, it's a thick guy. I think it's like a thousand pages, but this is top, well, top four, I guess, because I chose four books. It's a bit more of a period, period piece. I think it takes place in like the 1700s or something like that. The next book is a more recent one, and that's A Girl with a Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. I know there's an expanded universe now that is continued by, is it the guy's, the author's son or something like that? But anyway, this trilogy of books, it's not only mind-blowing, the stories are very interesting and how they weave together. 
but there was something about when I finished this series that I felt so alone. And it was really strange because I don't usually leave a book series or something like that feeling like, oh man, it's over. Th this just really hit home. I felt lonely without hanging out with the characters and the story is just fantastic. All right, the next one is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. And this is uh, kind of like an old world vampire story. It's actually been a few years since I've read it. I had read it a couple times back in the day, so I don't remember it as much, except I'm left with the lingering feeling of that I loved this so much. I actually have two copies of it because somebody broke my other copy, so I had to have it, so I bought a second one. Um, and as you'll notice, I'm a hardcover snob with books, but this is just, it's so lovely. It's a well-written vampire story. And the last book is one that I have read a lot of times. It's not very specific now, is it? Um, I found this on a whim because it was recommended to me on Amazon and that's Dream Hunter by Elizabeth Knox. There is a second book to this, but this one was the, be the best one. Um, and the other one does continue the story, but this was just, it's magical. It's, it took you to a place that you'd never considered and never even thought about. It reminded me of dreams, well, makes sense, Dream Hunter. It just reminded me of personal dreams, I guess is what I'd meant, like where your mind just kind of takes you to these crazy places and to see it on paper was kind of unique. And I'm really sad because this was supposed to have been turned into a movie series and I would have liked to have seen it on screen, but there's also a piece of me too that's very happy that it never ended up on screen because so many times people will take something that you love and turn it into what they see and then it's never the same and you just get kind of disappointed. But yeah, all four of these books, hugely recommended. The next question is, what is my favorite color? And if we're just talking about looking at things in general, then I would say green is my favorite color. If we were talking about putting it on my face, then oranges and reds are my favorite. The ninth question is, do you have any pets? And yes, I do. I have two black cats. One is Nemo. He is, I think he's roughly eight years old. He, he's the male and he's the bigger of the two cats. Uh, and I got him from Toronto Animal Services when he was a little baby kitten. And the other one is the female and her name is Cole May. And she is basically a rescue. Uh, David, my husband, found her outside in the middle of winter, like howling for her life. And he tried to like ask around and figure out if there was anybody that had lost a kitten and no one claimed it. So we took the cat in and then rehabilitated her because she had like eye infections and stuff like that. So I was really worried about how Nemo was going to handle it because he's a spoiled brat little child. And um, although they pick on each other quite a bit, they get along better than I thought they would. So. Yeah, they look near identical, except uh, Colme is significantly smaller than Nemo. I would say she's about like 70% of his size, so very cute. The next question is, what's my favorite perfume? Now, my all-time favorite perfume is Michael Kors Island, the original one in the blue bottle. They don't make it anymore. I can't find it at a reasonable price, and if it is even at a, re like a relatively okay price that I would pay, there's something wrong with the liquid now. It's all gone yellow versus back in the day it used to be like clear. The perfume at this point will have gone bad. So I would buy it, but it's never gonna smell the same. As a replacement, I have mostly switched to MAC Turquatic and Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. So those are my two staples right now. But they're still not my favorites. I can't find anything that matches that Michael Kors Island perfume and I just want it back so badly. The next question is, what's my favorite holiday? And they're not real holidays in the sense that we don't get time off of work for them, but my two favorite holidays have to be Halloween, because my friends and I go absolutely crazy with our costumes, and uh, St. Patrick's Day, because it's green, it involves drinking, that's not a great thing to say now, is it? It's just, I don't know, it's a happy holiday to me. I love dressing up in green, I love going crazy with shamrocks, it's just my thing. The next question is, are you married? And yes, I am. Uh, his name is David and we've been married for just coming on six years now. The 14th question is, do you speak any other languages? And yes, French, although technically English is my second language. I spoke French at home first and it wasn't until we went on vacation somewhere 
to the other side of my family where they only spoke English that my brother and I both picked it up. Um, so technically French was my first language, although I definitely speak English far better, far better than I speak French now, which is a bit of a shame because I can read it and understand it just fine, but I find my mouth trips over the pronunciation of certain words, so I feel really foolish sometimes when I speak French, but I have no problems with comprehension and stuff like that. I just... You know when you feel silly so you try to avoid it? Yeah, it's kind of bad. But living in Toronto, you really don't use French that much. I am from Ottawa, which is far more of a bilingual city. Yeah, it's just kind of sad that I don't speak it as much as I used to. The next question is, how many siblings do you have? And I have one brother. Uh, he's one year younger than me and he currently lives in France. And he actually, I think it was last year, just became a citizen there. The next question is, what is your favorite shop? And I've tried to think of a response for this. I don't really enjoy shopping. I don't like trying on clothes. I don't like hunting for a bargain. I would generally prefer to buy things online. So I guess in that sense, Sephora online would be my favorite shop. Yeah, that's the best you're gonna get out, out of me is online shopping for anything is just what I prefer. <laughs> The next question is, what is my favorite restaurant? And I don't like anything especially fancy. I'm pretty, pretty content if I go to a pub or something like that. But there's one in the area that I really love because their fajitas are to absolutely die for. So if you're in Toronto and you know where this is, it's um, just off Church Street near Bloor. It's called Bishop and the Belcher. I'm in love with their chicken fajitas in the original style, not the, I think they have a tequila mix one, I just prefer the original ones. And I've been having those, geez, probably going on 10 years now, and they are fantastic. The next question is, when was the last time you cried? Which is a little bit of a touchy subject, I'm not sure everyone wants to answer this kind of question. Um, it was a few days ago, and it was fitness slash health oriented, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. The next question is, what is your favorite blog? And I'm just gonna answer with the blog that I have definitely been reading the longest, and that would be Temptalia. And she's the first person I remember following diligently because of her, the Mac collections, and she would show them on her face and stuff like that. And not only is she good for content and being fast and swift with getting her products up there, but she also, and I don't know how she does this considering how much traffic she gets, she responds to every comment. I mean, maybe not every single one, but I would say like 99% of comments get a response from her. And that is incredible because of all the beauty bloggers that I know of, she has probably the most insane traffic and I can't figure out how she does what she does and responds to everyone at the same time. So I think that's really impressive because it keeps her in tune with her audience. And that's huge. Absolutely love Tim Talia. The next question is, what is my favorite movie? And as with everyone, I'm sure no one has just a singular favorite movie. So I will say that my two favorites would be Boondock Saints and Sin City. Okay, the next question is kind of tough because it says, what's your favorite TV shows? Funny how it gives you plural for this, but it didn't for the other ones. I love a lot of TV. TV is my preferred outlet in comparison to movies because I can get way more invested in the characters this way. So over the years, my absolute favorites have been Buffy the Vampire Slayer, hands down, number one favorite, Dark Angel, so sad that got canceled after season two, more recently Breaking Bad, uh, Dance Academy, which I only recently discovered on Netflix, I'm loving Suits right now. I'm obsessed with The 100, which is still an occurring, reoccurring series. Uh, what else? I'm like, oh, my media stuff is behind here, but it's not the TV. The TV section's back here. I mean, I would have to go through, like everything, I, I buy most of my TV things, so. Sex and the City, I love Charmed. Alias, oh man, I loved Alias. Yeah, there's a lot of TV I really, really enjoyed. Current ones though, so The 100 and Suits. Oh, and Jessica Jones. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop. I, I just really like TV. All right, the next one is PC or Mac. Uh, PC for me, I do have a MacBook Pro laptop, but that's just because uh, my husband prefers Macs and he wanted to get a laptop. 
I've mostly taken over the laptop, so he doesn't use it nearly as much as me, but I would never buy a Mac again. It's While it's nice to use because it's simple, I just think it's excessively priced for what it is. You're pay basically paying for packaging, and I think that's ridiculous. So I have, we have TV, or we have computers in the back. So he's got a Mac and I've got a PC tower. And I would, if I was gonna get another laptop, I would definitely get a PC. So I'm PC all the way. Uh, what phone do you have? I have whatever is being sold for zero dollars. I don't care about my phone. I just need to know that it can connect to the internet and I can call or text people. So I have a Samsung Galaxy, whoop, Samsung Galaxy Core. It was zero dollars when I got my contract over a year ago and I'll get whatever the next free phone is when my contract's up in December. I really don't care about phones. All right, the second to last question is how tall are you and I am 5'3", or if we say 5'3 in Canada, even though we should be using the metric system. So I'm 160 centimeters tall. And the last question is, can you cook? Uh, yes, I can cook, uh, but I either usually follow a recipe or stick to like one of 10 dishes that I know. So I'm not, I don't tend to branch out and try new things every week, but I just tend to stick to the 10 or so dishes that I'm used to making and then that keeps me perfectly content. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me and maybe it helps flesh out a little bit about who my character is as a person. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.